As a trader, we all look for tight or low spreads, which helps us to get in and out of the market. Using the right broker can help us try different strategies. With multiple options of brokers on the web, here at Stock Sniper Trading, we have a recommended broker, that is, Hanko Trade. With spreads as low as 0 pips and leverage up to 500x, Hanko Trade is just one click away. With multiple account types to choose from, you also have a minimum deposit of $10. Using Hanko Trade's affiliate program, refer a friend and earn up to a 40% commission on trading volume. Built by traders for traders. Hanko Trade. Welcome to Stock Sniper Trading. In today's tutorial, we will be going over the head and shoulders reversal bearish pattern. The head and shoulder pattern is one of the most reliable reversal patterns and can be seen in an uptrend or a downtrend. This chart formation resembles a baseline with three peaks. The outside two are close in height which are the shoulders, and the middle is the highest, which represents the head. For example, after a long bullish rally, the stock price rises to a peak and eventually declines back to the base. Eventually, the price rises again to form a second high above the initial peak and declines again. Finally, the price rises again for a third time, but only to the level of the first peak before declining once more. The first and third peaks are the shoulders and the second peak forms the head, where the line connecting the peaks is called the neckline. The inverse head and shoulders is the exact opposite where it indicates that a downtrend is about to reverse into an uptrend, which we will show you in our next tutorial. In this example, you can see the head and shoulder pattern. We have bullish momentum going up as price action goes up and we encounter some resistance on our first peak which creates our left shoulder price action sells off and comes back down to our base which is our neckline support level and we get an injection of new buyers in the market pushing the price action above our left shoulder and and to creating a new resistance level at the top and getting rejected up there which forms the head and we have sellers pushing the price back down to our support line where we get some buying momentum and we create now our right shoulder where we get some buyers. However, we do encounter more selling pressure as they push the price back down. And once the sellers outweigh the buyers and more selling momentum comes into the market and we break below our baseline support level, the neckline, then sellers are in control and continue to push the price down, creating new lower lows and lower highs. And you have a full reversal from a bullish uptrend to a bearish downtrend. A head and shoulders pattern is a bearish reversal pattern. The chart formation resembles three peaks the outside peaks are the shoulders and the highest middle peak is the head. The line connecting the peaks is called the neckline. The breakdown occurs at the neckline support level and we get a momentum change from bullish to bearish. On the diagram, you can see letter A. We have some bullish buying momentum as price action increases to where we get to B, which creates our left shoulder and we encounter some resistance and sellers push the price down to C, which creates our neckline support level. And it also creates a higher low from A. And now buyers come into the market and push the price up to D, where we encounter selling pressure again as we make a new resistance level. And now price action pushes down all the way back down to E where we test our support level again and we get some more buying momentum where we get up to F which creates our right shoulder, our resistance from our left shoulder. The buyers cannot seem to break this resistance and now selling momentum increases making a lower high as price action decreases 
at G where we finally break below that support line and sellers are in full control now making lower lows and lower highs. In this example, you can see the full complete reversal from bullish momentum to bearish momentum on the head and shoulders pattern. Here's an example of a head and shoulder bearish reversal pattern from our trading view charts. And in this particular example, we are looking at the USD JPY pair on 15 minute candlestick timeframes. A, we have a bullish uptrend and it gets to B where we start to encounter some resistance and some selling pressure where we create our left shoulder as the sellers push the price down to C where we get some good support and we have more buying momentum come into the market where we get that bullish engulfing candlestick and this creates our neckline support level as buyers continue to increase the price up where they break the left shoulder resistance price action makes a new resistance at d which creates the head of the head and shoulder pattern now we encounter more selling pressure as we get to a new resistance point and sellers push the price down back down to our neckline support level where buyers come back into the market and try to push the price up. However, they get some resistance and this is creates E, our right shoulder. As more selling momentum enters the market and push the price down, we finally break down below C, the neckline support level, and we get F, the support level neck down breakdown. The bearish candle closes below our neckline and now we get the bearish momentum G where we have the downtrend reversal and the bearish continuation. As it makes lower lows and lower highs, then the price action will continue to be bearish. This head and shoulder pattern illustrates a bullish momentum to bearish momentum and a complete reversal in trends. This is the example here live as we can see price action as buyers enter the market and push the price up creating our left shoulder and we have our resistance there where sellers push it back down to create our neckline where we get buyers coming back into the market pushing price back up creating our head. So we can see here, I'm going to pause it. We can see the bullish momentum, which creates, we can see uh, by our left shoulder, we are starting to encounter some upper rejection wicks and some spinning top candlesticks with indecision where sellers push the price down to our neckline support level where we get that bullish engulfing candlestick and we get continuation, which creates the head now. As we get to a new resistance, we should expect selling pressure to increase and we have now bearish candles coming down, back down to the support line neckline. As buyers continue to increase, there's not enough momentum to break through the previous right shoulder. Now we encounter more selling pressure and now we get a bearish candlestick which closes below our neckline and now we're looking for bearish continuation to the downside to make new lower lows and lower highs and a full reversal from a bullish uptrend to a bearish downtrend. A quick recap. The head and shoulders is a bearish reversal pattern. It is a chart formation which resembles three peaks. The outside peaks are the shoulders and the highest middle peak is the head. The line connecting the peaks is called the neckline and the breakdown occurs at the neckline support level where we get a momentum change from bullish to bearish. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the head and shoulders bearish reversal pattern and on our next tutorial we will introduce the opposite pattern which is the inverse head and shoulders bullish reversal pattern.